Hey guys, thought I'd take you guys in the hood, in my old hometown here. Thought I'd take a little visit and see what's cracking out here. Of course you got these cracking and shitty roads out here. So hopefully uh, I can navigate through them with, without any trouble. But yeah, in this installment, I wanted to talk about the haters. Because I know a lot of you new motorcycle riders are having a hard time dealing with the haters and uh, some of you uh, you people out there that are contemplating on getting a motorcycle you're worried about what the haters are gonna say if you get a little 250 or you get a scooter and uh, and I'm here to tell you in this installment baby that any it doesn't matter what bike you get there's always going to be haters period no matter what bike you get you get a scooter, people go call you a pussy. You get a 250, they call you a pussy. You get a 600, they call you a pussy. And you get a, a leader bike, and then they call you a douchebag. Uh, you get a ZX14R, you're a poser, you're a douchebag, you think you're badass. You get a Harley, you're a, what? An asshole. Uh, tough guy, think you're tough, think you're cool. It doesn't matter what bike you get, man. There's people gonna talk shit. So that's why I'm here to tell you, don't list, don't worry about the haters. You know, if you're the type of person that needs approval from others, you got issues. You're gonna have problems through your whole life because people are always gonna let you down. People are always gonna talk shit, no matter how how good looking you are. No matter how rich you are, no matter how successful you are, actually even the more successful you are, the more haters you'll get. I tell you, I've noticed that firsthand with this YouTube channel. It's gotten a lot popular, a lot more popular now. I have over what 6,000 subscribers, over a million views. Thanks to all you guys, by the way. I appreciate your subscription and your watching my videos. But yeah, it amped up the haters, the trolls. So, and that's all good, because you know, like they say, opinions are like assholes, everybody has one, you know, and, and there's always going to be haters, always. And uh, so I'm here to tell you, you want to get in, you want to get a motorcycle, start on the 250 and don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about people calling you a pussy because you're riding a 250. You're in my opinion you are smart you are a wise rider because you are trying to gain skill and you're not worried about the way people perceive you and you shouldn't because it's all about you and the riding experience you know who gives a shit what people think you know and and the purpose of a 250 is not I mean for you to don't worry about getting bored on the bike I mean I just that's the most stupid excuse that I hear from a lot of people that say they don't want to start on a 250 because they'll get bored fast. The point is you're trying to gain skill, dummy. You know, you're trying to stay safe. A lot of you, a, a people that are brand new to have never been on a motorcycle, moped, scooter, or anything, they have no idea how to control the throttle. So for you guys saying, oh, just control the throttle, you'll be fine, be smart with the throttle, these people don't know anything about a damn throttle, dickheads. You know, that's why I think I really am gonna start deleting comments when people keep saying, telling other, telling uh, newbies to start on a 600 because it's, this shit'll get you killed, man. It's no joke. And just because a lot of you guys started on a 600 and haven't crashed or killed yourself, that doesn't mean you have the skill to ride it. Shit, anybody can ride in a straight line. I'm sure anybody, probably my grandmother, can ride a ZX14R in a straight line. You know? It's all about when you ride a super sport, which you, I mean, the point is for these bikes is to, to get on the twisties. You know, take it to the track. That's where the real fun is on these bikes, to be honest. If you want to cruise the streets in a straight line, get a cruiser, you know. Otherwise, what's the point of you getting 
a super sport just to look badass you know to be a poser like you're a track star or something on the streets you know I love hitting the twisties on this bike we do have some twisties here and there and there's an area that I'm not gonna divulge to anybody on here because I don't want everybody and their brother hitting the uh, the road but I and I my happiest riding on this bike is hitting the twisties I love going around turns I like going in a straight line to be honest with you on this bike you know be, with this bike I don't think I could do it on any other super sports because uh, the bars are too low on a lot of the other super sports are not as comfortable as this bike this is the most one of the most comfortable super sports you'll ever find out there unless you modify a super sport to be more comfortable but yeah guys I mean don't worry about how people perceive you don't worry about the haters they're gonna hate like I said no matter what you know that's just life you know and if you can't handle it then then go see a psychologist or a psychiatrist get some medication get some help but yeah guys you guys need to build a stronger mind you guys need to be be tough out there I mean riding a motorcycle here on the street is not for for little punks or little wimps that can't take what haters say to them you know Get, us, get on your bike, toughen up. Don't give a shit what people say. As long as you love your bike, you enjoy riding, that's all that matters. That's all I really have for you guys today. So I guess I'll head back out to the suburbs and get my ass home and go eat some dinner. So I'll catch you guys later. So until the next installment, catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, subscribe to my blog over at CycleCruiser.com for tips and great deals. Also, click like on my Facebook page for new updates, and that's Facebook.com forward slash CycleCruiser1.